And while the Lankan offensive against the LTTE continues, students in Tamil Nadu are paying a heavy price for asking for a ceasefire. The state government has closed all colleges and hostels indefinitely. University exams have also been postponed and results could be delayed as well. Sam Daniel reports. 30,000 students had formed part of the extremely tense funeral procession of Muthu Kumar, who had set himself on fire for the Lankan Tamils cause. So the DMK government says it needs to curb students' unrest in Tamil Nadu. The government's decision to indefinitely shut colleges and hostels has come in the middle of the exam season. Hostlers have got to go back home and students now may have to be ready for exams behind the schedule. We are preparing for our exams. Students may not concentrate. We don't have a reservation. We have to go in an undeserved condition. I'm from Tibet, so I'm thinking of going to my friend's room. A section of the opposition, the PMK, MDMK and Vidudulai Chirutaigal, is believed to be backing the students' agitation. And the closure of colleges is seen as the ruling DMK's desperate attempt to thwart any move to mount pressure on the centre for a ceasefire in Sri Lanka. And there's a growing anger for its softening of stand after staging a resignation drama. DMK is known for its self-respect. I think now the passive approach has created a lot of disappointment among the Tamil people. Call it a political gimmick or something in the best interest of students. The closure of colleges has only further isolated the DMK, which till recently projected itself as the champion of the Lankan Tamil's cause. In Chennai with camera person Sagai Raj, Sam Daniel, Finally TV.